To configure Okta as an IDP for Zscaler Private Access, log into both Zscaler Private Access and the Okta tenants in individual browser windows or individual tabs with administrator credentials. On the Zscaler tenant, select Administration, IDP Configuration, Add IDP Configuration. This will bring up the installation wizard. Give the IDP a name, select User for single sign-on, and then select the authentication domain or domains that will apply to this IDP, and then select Next. The SP metadata is now displayed and will be needed for the Okta side configuration. Let's add the ZPA application on Okta as the next step. On the Okta tenant, select Applications, select Browse App Catalog, and search for Zscaler. Select the Zscaler Private Access 2.0 application and select Add. Select the Do Not Display options and then select Done. Under the Sign On tab, select Edit under Settings. Under SAML 2.0 Group Name, select Match Regex from the pull-down and then type Star Dot to match all group names. Select and save the Identity Provider metadata and then copy and paste the service provider URL and service provider entity ID from the ZPA tenant to the Okta fields of the same name. Then select Save. Back on the ZPA tenant, select Next. Select and upload the IDP metadata file we downloaded in the earlier step. Select Unsigned for the ZPA SP SAML request and Enabled for the HTTP redirect. Then enable Skim Sync and Skim Attributes for Policy, and then select Generate New Token for the Bearer Token. We will need to copy and paste the Skim Service Provider Endpoint URL and the Bearer Token into the Okta configuration. On the Okta tenant, select the Provisioning tab, and then Configure API Integration, and Enable API Integration. Paste the base URL and bearer token into the configuration. Before we can successfully test the credentials, we must save the ZPA configuration on the ZPA tenant. Then test and save the Okta configuration. On the Provisioning to App section, select Edit, and then Enable the three provisioning options and save the configuration. Select the Assignments tab, then Assign and Assign to Groups. Search and select the groups that contain our ZPA users and then select Done. Select the Push Groups tab and again select our ZPA groups and save the configuration. This completes our installation. To check that the configuration is working as expected, on the ZPA tenant select Administration and then select Skim Groups. Verify that the groups have been synchronized. Select the Skim Users tab and verify that our users are also synchronized.